operating your SCA 1200 HT. Thank you for purchasing an SCA 1200 HT to clean supports off of your FDM parts. We know you are eager to get your new system up and running. We have prepared this video to quickly show you how to set up and operate your SCA. The first step is to remove the user manual and read it in its entirety. The user manual goes through how to unpack and install the system. Safety is important and you should read and understand all of the safety warnings in the user manual. A quick reference guide was also included with your system. Keep it by your unit to refresh your memory and to make sure you follow the proper operating procedures. You should always wear eye protection and rubber heat resistant gloves when operating the SCA. Fumes from the cleaning solution may cause irritation and the hot water can be scalding. Always lift and move the unit with two people. Never lift the unit by yourself. Make sure the unit is placed on a sturdy, flat table or utility cart. We have found that placing the unit near a water source and drain makes filling and draining the unit simpler. The power cord should be positioned so it is not a safety hazard for people passing by. When the unit is not in use, make sure that you unplug it from the wall outlet. Overview of features. Operating the SCA is simple. Let's review the key features of your SCA 1200 HT so that you know your way around the unit. Power for the unit is controlled through the switch and plug area on the side of the unit. The unit is turned on by toggling the switch to the on position. The primary interface for the unit is the control panel. This button is the start pause button. Use it to start or to pause the pump and heater. Next to that are the temperature presets. Above the start pause button are buttons used to set the timer. We will cover how to set both temperature and time in the next section. Information about your cleaning cycle is displayed on the readout here. If there are any problems during the cycle, the alert indicators will light up and a buzzer will sound. This indicator shows high water level, this one shows low water level, and the bottom light indicates all of the information on what could cause the triangle alert to light up. This model has an integrated lid for convenience and heat containment. If you pull the lid back, you will see the parts basket. The basket is designed to speed up cleaning and can be easily lifted out of the tub to allow you to remove your parts without sticking your hands into the hot liquid. Liquid is drained from the tub through the valve on the front of the unit. A hose is attached to direct the flow of liquid into a drain or container for disposal. A 1 inch internal diameter PVC hose or equivalent fits over the drain valve tube. Using the SCA to clean parts. The first step is to make sure the unit is unplugged from the wall and that you are wearing proper safety gear. Next, fill the tub with water. If you have access to a water source, fill the tub with a hose. If not, fill a bucket that you can easily carry and lift above the top of the unit. The water level must be between the bottom of the support bracket and max fill lines. Continue to add water until the level is about an inch below the max fill line. Remember, when you add parts and the water is heated, the water level will rise. You have two choices for cleaning solutions. Water Works and EcoWorks. If you use Waterworks, add one full bottle or 950 grams of solution. For EcoWorks, add six packages of EcoWorks cleaning agent. The cleaning product will dissolve when the cleaning cycle is started, so no need to stir the tank. Next, place the parts into the basket and lower it slowly into the water.
If the alarm sounds, remove liquid from the tank using a cup or small bucket. Once the basket is loaded into the tub, plug the unit into the wall and turn the unit on. It is now time to set the temperature in the timer. The temperature is set based on which support material you are removing. Simply push the button for the temperature you want. If your parts are ABS, use the 70 degree setting. For polycarbonate parts, use the 85 Celsius setting. The purpose of the timer is to save power if the machine is operated unattended. Experience will tell you how long it takes to clean your typical parts. Allow about two hours of heating the liquid to 70 degrees C from room temperature. For now, set the timer for six hours, 30 minutes. That should work for most parts. To set the timer, press the timer start pause button. Next, press the set button. Now use the up and down arrows to increase or decrease the number of minutes to the desired amount. Press set to lock in the minutes and switch to hour mode. Press the up and down arrows to set the number of hours. When done, press set again. The cleaning cycle starts when you have set both the time and the temperature. During the cycle, you can consult the display to determine how much time remains and check on the current liquid temperature. Until the liquid has reached the set temperature, illuminated bars will sweep from left to right under the temperature display. You can check on your parts while the cycle is running by opening the FCA lid, raising the basket lid, and using a long-handled scoop to lift out the parts. Or, raise the basket out of the liquid and rest on the tub rim while opening the basket to check on the parts. Be very cautious when lifting the FCA lid as hot vapors rise from the cleaning solution. Completing a cleaning cycle once your parts are clean, it is time to remove them from the system. Make sure you are wearing protective eyewear and gloves. Do not reach into the tub to remove the parts. Even with the heat-resistant gloves, you risk scalding if hot solution enters the top of the glove. Use the basket to lift the parts from the cleaning solution. Grab the basket by its handles and slowly raise it from the tub while tilting it toward the back to drain out most of the liquid. If you go too fast, the low-level alarm may trip. Turn the basket 90 degrees and rest it on top of the tub rim to let it drain for a few minutes. Lift the basket lid and carefully remove the parts and place them on a clean towel or paper towels. We recommend that you use a utility cart or a tray to transport parts. Rinse any excess cleaning solution off of the parts with running water. Then dry the parts with a clean towel or paper towels. If you are going to use your SCA 1200 HT immediately, simply add the new parts to the basket. Slowly lower it into the liquid. And start a new cycle by setting the time and temperature. If you are not planning on using the unit in the next few hours, turn off the unit. Alternatively, use the 50 degrees Celsius temperature as standby mode to shorten the heating time to 70 or 85 degrees. Set the timer to 99 hours to ensure the unit remains active until you are ready for the next cleaning cycle. If you need to drain the unit because you need to replace the cleaning solution, you need to move the unit, or you do not plan on using it for some time, follow these simple steps. Make sure that the system temperature is below 30 degrees Celsius. Next, turn off the unit using the power switch. Attach a drain hose to the end of the drain tube and place the other end in a drain or a stainless steel or plastic bucket. Slowly open the valve to the open position. If you are filling a container, turn off the valve well before the container is full. Then empty that container or use a new empty container to continue draining the tank. Once all of the liquid is drained, make sure you have closed the drain valve. Thank you for choosing the SCA 1200 HT for your part cleaning needs and for taking the time to view this video. If you have any questions, please email us at sca 
at padtinc.com or call 480-813-4884. You can also find additional information including translations of the user manual, frequently asked questions, and more videos at www.supportremoval.com.